Britney is the Hebridean Princess, a luxury cruise liner that the Queen paid £125,000 to hire to take her around the Scottish coast. We're now going to meet the captain and take a look on board. Here I am in the library of the Hebridean Princess with Captain Ian Stevenson. What are your main duties as captain of this ship? Well, of course, you know, you're responsible for the safety of the ship and all passengers and crew on board. That's your main priority at all times. Uh, our job obviously involves calling in uh, many and very different places and occasionally we do have to change that depending on the weather. And, uh, that's when it can become quite difficult. What's your favourite thing about the job? Uh, ship handling is uh, one of the uh, great parts of the job and uh, you do get to meet loads of uh, interesting people as well. Where has been your favourite port of call? Some of the places that we visit in the west coast of Scotland really are just spectacular. They, uh, <coughs> you can't get there by road, uh, some of them you can't even get by ferry. The only way to get to them is by yacht or by uh, a sort of private uh, boat. And being able to take some of our guests to these places is really fantastic. It's a very traditional ship. Can you tell me a bit about the way she handles? She was built in 1964, so uh, ship's 43 years old with the original machinery. Uh, bow thruster isn't very strong, the engines are telegraph control. And <coughs> it is quite a traditional way of handling the ship. Uh, she doesn't have much power, but uh, it's a lot of fun to drive. Here I am with David Inge, Chief Purser on the Hebridean Princess. Can you tell us a bit about the ship? Uh, yes, well, she was built in 1964. Uh, and she was um, a ferry up on the Western Isles of Scotland and Hebridean took her over in well, 18 years ago and they converted her from a, a car ferry into what is now a luxury five-star small cruise ship. And how often do you come to Dover? It is just, it's just on an annual basis. We literally come down here. We, we like coming to Dover anyway. It's, it's a nice port and it's, as you know, it's, a, it's, it's more big cruise ships coming in. So for us to be the smallest, it's a great pleasure to be here as well. But it is just once a year at the moment. You can imagine when we're on the west coast of Scotland and we're sailing up these beautiful sea walks. And the scenery is fantastic. We use the two small boats here, the Scarba and the Shona, mm. and we actually land our passengers ashore there in places you know you simply can't get by uh, any other means. You know, it's really something quite special. So why is the restaurant called Columba? Uh, Columba was the original name of the ship when she was a ferry for uh, Caledonian McGrain, and she served around the west coast of Scotland. And, uh, so she's really still on home territory when we're in our normal cruising area. You must be very proud to be captain of the ship. Very proud indeed. She's a fantastic uh, ship. It's a fantastic product if you want to think of it that way. It's uh, top class. She's not just any cruise liner. Absolutely. We're talking best of the best.